In this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this a 15 inch 2 lamp, 2 CCF lamp to our UV36 series LED kit. As you can see, uh, we're using a little bit smaller one that dimension because due to the structure and the dimension of the screens. Uh, this screen have two lamps. Let, uh, our LED kit comes two LED strips, one connector, one LED driver, new drivers. Okay, so let's set aside the LED kit, take a look at the screen. The screen is made by, actually is made by uh, Handstar. Okay. The screen part number is HSD150SX84. HSD150SX84. It's 15 inch display with two lamps. To um, upgrade to LED or replace CCFL, it's going to be a similar procedure, but when you upgrade the LED, you don't need to worry about the soldering and stuff like that, but it would be much simple. But the procedure is pretty much the same. For this particular screen, it's a little bit older one, which is using a 240 pins uh, TTF, uh, TTL uh, interface. So we have pretty much, uh, you know, this, assemb this assembly down to every part. First, we had to remove the, this cover plastic. Second, we had to remove, remove this metal frame. And then we can try to access the, um, the lamps. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so this one here. If this is the first time you try to replace a LED backlight lamp, so you might have to watch this video a few times, or at least two times, get the ideas. And how you're gonna, especially you have to almost display, this assembly everything, okay. Remove this cover of plastic. Ooh. Okay, before I do that, I want to remove this. Yeah. Now oh, we don't need to use that. Okay. All right, so we're going to do it like this. Let's see here. Oh. Okay. Next thing, we have to disassemble, remove this flat cables. Use the trigger. Slowly pull it downwards. Don't don't put too much. Otherwise, this plastic will fall off. Okay, and then you kind of like loosen up. Oh, I got flip over. Okay, show you. Pull it down and then flip over, see that? Then take it out, put it back. All right, second thing, we need to remove this tiny screw you may not be able to see under here, so I want to show you. See, this is really tiny screws on this end too, so we had to remove it in order to uh, Oh, before I remove it, I would think that might be... We, let's remove the metal film first. Let's bend. Okay. Yeah, let's remove the metal film. That looks like a, that's the right procedure. Okay. All right. Okay, well, we take it out. So I usually we use a piece of cardboard just to carry this liquid glass, you know. So that's easier. So now we try to remove the screws. Now it's easy for you, a bit easy for you to see it, see that? It's so tiny. This one end has one too. All right. Remove the screw. The screw, they both went for groundings. Let's see, is there any more screws? No, see that it's move. How about this guy? This guy can move too. Perfect. All right, so let's flip over. See, we can 
take out the screen or not, the liquid glass or not. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's set it aside through the wire, see what happens. Do like this. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Even though the it fails off, even though with the including a uh, diffusion sheet, you see that? It's still here. Okay, perfect. Now you see what I meant, it's easy to transport. So I'm gonna set that aside because uh, we have a uh, lot work to do and we have to disassembly uh, something here. All right, let's take a look. Actually, this one should be removed because that's actually the things that the uh, holes. Well, that's, I guess that's okay. So take a look at the screen here. Okay, there's a couple screws. You see this? I'm not sure you can see another you know, screw that holding tiny screw that holding a uh, assembly. So let's unscrew this. You put it this side. Don't mix it up. Uh, okay. So this is the first time I did assembly, so I got for see how we can do it okay I'm trying to be lazy because see part of this assembly is inside of this metal frame um you can check take the whole metal frame uh, uh, the bottom uh, aluminum frame out but that's too much work so Let's try to do a little bit shortcut here and show you later on. So, okay, we can bend it back. You see, you see what I mean? So part of this was inside. So now we can try to pull it out. So instead of taking the whole thing out, there we go, bingo. Oh, you can just, okay, that way, I'll try to be lazy. Well, nobody hates shortcut anyway, so we all love shortcuts, so. See, the lamp's already bad. All right, this end, we gotta do the same thing too, see? The part of this metal's inside of the aluminum film, so what we do is that we're gonna, hope for this angle is better for you to see it. We're gonna bend it. See that? Then you can tilt like this. Or you can just cut it, it doesn't matter, you know. Okay, so now, the best way we probably grab this one. Oops. Okay, let's see how we can move this. This one gets stuck a little bit, so let me see what we can do here. Because the lamp was inside, it's been on for so long. Sometimes it melts down the, this end a little bit, so it's a stick to the other side, maybe. Okay, that's fine. So let me. I gotta have a better long nose to pull it out. There we go. Here we go. Okay, it's coming out. 